Hey everyone, Xanagir here. Uh, you might have seen the last few days, last week and a half or so, I've been uploading a lot of the Kaizo levels by John GC, um, and they're pretty freaking amazing, and uh, it's really reinvigorated my passion for the game, and uh, the the levels that he made, the, the mod that he made, wouldn't have been possible without Jay the Business Goose's level sequence mod, which allows you to make levels, entire levels, and then play them in a set order. Um, so I wanted to make this video to kind of give you an overview of what the level editor can do in its current state. And, uh, not exactly tutorialize the entire level editor, since it is, um, while it is possible for anyone to make a level in it currently, uh, it is a bit difficult. So you do have to, you do have to like know your way around a computer a bit. It's not Mario Maker yet. Uh, so I wanted to let the people that, that, want to do this know what is possible and kind of show you um, how to get started and get you on the right track to where you can start learning um, how to do this stuff but you do need a basic knowledge of programming kind of um, not necessarily you could I, I don't know any programming and I'm making levels but uh, it will be a little more difficult if you don't know programming, as it is for me. Uh, so if you are uncomfortable with that, I recommend maybe checking back in a, in a while to see if uh, they've smoothed out, smoothed out some of the uh, more technical stuff. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and just get started and I'll show you how to start making levels and mods. So go here. Um, so I've got uh, the level editor open and mod Lunky, and I'll, I'll put links for everything uh, in the description below. So I'll show you where to download mod Lunky. Uh, I'll link you to the, the to the tutorial for mod Lunky, and I will also post links to all the mods that I am uh, showing you, so that way you can get started pretty easily. Um, but first things first. Uh, what you want to do is you want to download Jay's mod, um, which is level sequence, um, which allows you to run the levels in a set order, um, but also download his example Kaizo mod. You don't actually ne necessarily have to download this uh, unless you want to start totally from scratch. I recommend downloading the example mod um, and then extracting it, putting it in your packs folder in mod Lunky. Uh, and then from there, I have it here, you'll see uh, a couple files, which is the, the important ones we're looking for is the level files and the main file. So you can open the, uh, the main Lua file, and you'll see that it's telling the game which, how to pull the levels in which order. <laughs> and uh, you can add levels obviously by just copying the code. If you don't know how to program, if you don't know Lua, it's not too difficult to just change this, you know, and then you save it, and then you basically just make a copy of level two, rename it level three Lua, um, and then open it up, and then change all of this to level three. This indicator tells which file to pull, and then this file name, which level file to pull, and you've gotta make sure the theme is correct, the width is correct, and the height is correct, otherwise it won't work. Uh, and, I'll, and you'll know what that means in two seconds. 
Um, so from there, that's that should be all pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you can't follow that, you probably shouldn't be making levels yet. It's simply just main file tells the game which order to load the levels, and then the level files um, have individual code for each level. Uh, and you can do other crazy stuff with the actual um, load level functions. Like you can make, you know, you can put a spike shoes on a caveman to make him walk on thorns. You could make a altar spawn different enemies. You can do a ton of stuff if you know how to program. There's a ton of documentation in the PlayLunky GitHub and the uh, OverLunky GitHub that will give you all of the uh, calls and the uh, entity types and all everything you need to know. If you know Lua, you can get it all there. Um, but from there, uh, now that you have everything set, all your level sequencing set, then you go into Mod Lunky, you go to the level editor tab, and you just hit create new level. This is where it gets a little bit easier. So, um, this is a, a test file, but let's actually just go into um, J's and we'll just add a level three to it. Uh, actually, you know what? I'll start from scratch. Um, you just want to go ahead and create a new pack. Um, test two. Uh, get in here. And then we'll go ahead and copy J's main over level level sequence um this is what you need you need the main you need a level and then you need a level sequence mod and then we'll go ahead and post it in to test um and then we'll go ahead and make our level it'll actually be good to show you we'll name it uh, test Width 4, height 4, we'll make it a dwelling theme, uh, do level sequence. Vanilla set room is for making regular randomly generated Splunky rooms. Uh, we'll hit create, then here's the level. Um, and then you see the data is created, level, levels right there. Um, and then we'll go into the, close all this. Open the level one Lua. And we're actually going to want to make it test theme dwelling four four for the width and the height. Then we'll make it test dot level and we'll save that. And then the main needs to be pulling from test. Um, and then level two and three do not exist. So do not need those right now. Um, that level. Might want to make another level just to make sure it continues properly. Um, we'll go ahead and... I actually don't know if level one needs to be... I think this should be test and test two as well. Yes, yes. Only makes sense. Okay. I think this is good. Obviously you want to rename your your mod as well testing for youtube great author this is xanagir um this should be good i think all right i think this is all good 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 and then we'll go ahead and make another level Test two, four, four, dwelling again. Great. Then we'll go ahead and copy level one. 
I know I should definitely do this a lot easier. Um, you do want to make this test one and test two as well. Since we call are calling test in the Lua file. Um, all right. Two. Should be. Uh, we can make the title. The title does not actually matter. Uh, it's just the identifier in the level file name that matters. Uh, file's the same. Everything's the same. Um, that should be good, I think. I think we're good. Okay. So now you just want to go ahead and make your level. You can add tiles to your tile palette from the dropdown. I expect this to be changed in the future because it is a bit janky and some of these names are not the same as they are in Overlunky. Um... And I really hope that with enough support and with enough people using this, that it will get more uh, features. Um, I'll just put an entrance and an exit really quick, just to see if it works. This test two. I did not mean to continue without saving. No. Imagine not reading. Okay. I know this is going to infuriate people that know how to program and stuff, so I'm sorry for my inexperience here but i i really am just doing this so we can get more people that are experienced in the in the know because i want to play more custom levels you know what i mean so all right save it and then uh you just want to run your mod from play Lunky. um and i think everything's all set i uh, hope it works doesn't fortunate. I'm not getting any, any errors, which is exciting. I probably did everything right. Not like it's that complicated. Yo, we did it. Okay. So here's the level, and then it should go to level two. And here's my second level, and then we get a victory screen. Top left, it says you won. Um, what's awesome about this though this is this is the this is gonna this is the part where your mind's gonna explode um let me uh hide game capture there we go uh all right so you can go into the level editor while you're already in the level and then at make changes to it um save and then reset the level boom it's already in there so you do not have if you're trying to make like a intricate platforming sequence a la mario maker you don't have to redo re oh, reopen the game every time you're trying to get a jump right you can just uh you know and if you're trying you know you just move the entrance anywhere um and and everything and you can Change the player's starting health and bombs with different Lua commands. Look at other mod examples um, like Spelunker Trials. Download it yourself. Open the main file. Open the level files and go ahead and mess around. See what John did and see what other people are doing as time goes on. And uh, yeah, read over the Discord. That's the most important thing. Before you ask a question, make sure you search for it. Um, I don't want to encourage people that are going to need help with the most basic stuff because that's not really what this editor's... That's not who the editor's for right now. Um, I really want to encourage people who know what they're doing at least a little small amount um, so we don't get a bunch of uh, people who you know, can't figure out how to set up the level sequencing. Because if you can't figure out how to set up the level sequencing, um, the editor should be ready for you down the line whenever it's more uh, ready for prime time. Uh, but I really wanted to make this video to encourage the people who are ready right now, have a little bit of Lua experience, or maybe want to learn Lua and know how to read documentation um, to make some levels and uh, get get on board the hype train for the custom level support in, in this incredible game. 
Um, I'm really looking for the people that are in the in the Mario world scene and and want to make some stuff in another cool platformer because um, I know their level creation tools have been are better now but have been complicated over the years uh, so for now a bit complicated in the future it'll hopefully be better um, but I think I showed everything I want to show um, sorry for the kind of rambly video I, I really just wanted to make this as a hey level editor exists it's extremely extremely cool and you can do literally anything with it because Lua is extremely versatile um, you know there's obviously a few things you can't do but uh, there's a lot of crashes <laughs> if you you know oops ice caves just crashed and we need you know I need to figure out how to not make it crash so that's like you know, the community is extremely helpful, but I do want to encourage people not to waste anyone's time <laughs> because this community is extremely helpful, but they don't want to help the same problem over and over and over and over and over and over and over because it's not worth anyone's time because these people are making the tools. These people are improving the tools so they're easier to use in the future. Maybe we can get some just, you know, nice little you know, chunks of Lua that are easier to implement um, as time goes on uh, and we'll we'll figure things out as as we go. Uh, but we need more people. We need a lot more people. If we get more people that are experienced, things will go faster and we'll make more interesting levels quicker. Uh, so, yeah, I think that'll do it for me. I hope you make some levels and I want to play them. So I I I probably should have said this earlier i want to do like level creation competitions on my stream i want to you know offer prize money i want to make it exciting to make levels speed run levels and create a community of people that love playing custom levels and love making custom levels so i'll be making some levels you'll see them on my stream twitch.tv slash xanagear and i will see you there and i'll see you in the next video have a good one Bye.